The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at his time, one day he came at Dhuhr to the masjid and started to speak about the signs of the end. That this is what will happen and this is what will. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke from Dhuhr until Asr. And then they gave the adhan for Asr. They stood up. They prayed. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood back up and started to speak again from Asr until Maghrib. And in that way, he continued and the Ashab say, he mentioned and went through every sign and we remembered what we could remember and forgot what we forgot. So amidst those signs that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, he mentions this hadith. And I want you to listen to it carefully. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Listen, O Muslims, and glad tidings to you. Then will come the age of the rightly guided Khalif who will lead in accordance to the teachings of the Prophet. This rightly guided Khalif is the one about whom 1050 narrations have come, of which four are Sahih. And the Prophet said, the Mahdi is from my lineage, as in from my progeny, from the children of Fatima. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, his name will be my name. So his name will be Muhammad. And his father's name will be my father's name. So he will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. And as the earth was filled with wrong and oppression, he will fill it with justice and peace. And as soon as they have pledged allegiance, two things will happen. Number one, an army will march out from Syria to attack this progeny of the Rasul. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, listen carefully, is in the house of Aisha radiallahu anha. And he is asleep. And in his sleep, he starts to move. He looks uncomfortable. He's displaying what he's never displayed before. Discomfort and sleep to the extent that he's moving. Then he got up. So she said, Ya Rasulullah, I have seen you do what you normally do not do. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, strange is the situation an army will come from the from syria intending the house of allah from my ummah seeking a man from my progeny to attack him and in another hadith al-bukhari فَإِذَا جَاءُوا بِبَيْضَاءَ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ يَخْصَفُوا بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخَرِهِمْ an, an army will come campaigning towards the Kaaba until it reached the Bayda. And Bayda is an expanse of land between Mecca and Medina, a uh, uh, flat desert land. When it reaches there, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, يَخْصَفُوا بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخَرِهِمْ The earth will suck them in their first and their last. And in another call, one person or a couple of people will be left just to tell the tale. So this is one of the signs that this one is the one the Prophet ﷺ intended. First, that his name will be my name. And his na the name of his father will be my father's name. Second, an army will come to attack him. And he will be unarmed. And the army will be destroyed by Allah alone. So when this happens, realize that this is the one. And the people that realize it, initially or the first batch that go towards him is from our lands, from Khurasan. The black flags will rise from the areas of Afghanistan. And the flags will come towards him. And they will traverse through the land until they come in help of the Mahdi. And his time is a difficult era. The Rasul says it in an eloquence befitting the majesty of the Rasul. 
Listen carefully, Muslims. تخزون جزيرة العرب فيفتحها الله. You will campaign in the Arab Peninsula and Allah will open it. ثم تغزون الفارس. Then there will be a campaign against the Persians. فيفتحها الله and Allah will open it. ثم تغزون الروم. Then there will be a campaign against Rome and Allah will open it. ثم تغزون الدجال فيفتحه الله. Then the Dajjal will come and Allah will open it as in will let you conquer it. So the age of the Mahdi is an age of intense struggle. And the Hadith says he will stay with you for seven years. And maybe eight. And if it really extends nine years. And at the last campaign, the Muslims will come and the other side, its opposition will come to face it. And the opposition is so huge. 80 banners, 80 different flags, under each flag, 12,000 men. And when the two sides meet and the Muslims see this, a third of them will run away. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Allah will never accept their repentance ever. Because running away reduces and destroys the morale of everyone standing. So then the campaign starts and the battle is hot and it's intense. And a third of the Muslims will die. And a third will be victorious. Just a third will be victorious. And they will be there on the battlefield collecting the remnants and the booty of war. And the hadith says from one tribe, 99 have died and one person is left. So what joy will he have at victory and what joy will he have at collecting booty? So you would think after such a calamity, after such a colossal engagement, or what is referred to in the books that preceded us as Armageddon, you would have expected issues to become more relaxed. Yet, as they have just become victorious and are collecting the things of the battlefield, a voice will come out to them that, O oh Muslims, the Dajjal has come in your lands. 